What's going on, Will Freeman, RevolutionaryLifestyleDesign.com, talking to you today about why the lean startup model and method doesn't work for service businesses. And if you're a follower of me, you already know that I only recommend service businesses and not reinventing the wheel and certainly not doing a tech startup unless you are exceptional. And you can see what the criteria is for that in the video I did on how to know if you're exceptional. I'll give you a hint, it starts with having 150 IQ and being a rock star programmer. Other than that, if you've got no business in a tech startup, I'm speaking from experience here. You can take my word for it or you can give it two years of your life and most likely have it not work out. So recognize that Eric Ries and the Lean Startup Method and Model uh, revolutionized the startup community, but also recognize the vast, vast, vast majority of startups don't make money. And there are much easier and better businesses to do that are in proven markets that do make money, like service businesses. Um, and I prefer a lifestyle business approach as opposed to an empire. And a service business also fits that much better. Uh, we're talking about seven figure businesses in financial services, real estate, um, you know, in uh, marketing, sales, you can get to at least 250 on your own. In some of those businesses, you can get to seven figures with half an employee or, you know, one part-time person because you're, you're doing high ticket service. Um, but the entire lean startup model and method does not work for that. Okay, so you shouldn't be in a tech startup and you shouldn't be trying to apply lean startup to service businesses, okay? So I'll give you some of the tenets of lean startup. It's learning is not the true measure of progress for a startup. The aim of business is not to use scientific experimentation to discover how to build a sustainable business with everything else being a bonus. Failure is not feedback, it's fucking failure. And you don't wanna fail, fail in business. You don't wanna spend two years failing in a fucking business, believe me. Pivoting is rarely the right fucking move. If you pick the right market, if you pick a proven market, you're not gonna to have to fucking pivot. Okay, if you go out selling real estate, you're not gonna to have to pivot. You might just narrow your niche to like, I'm only gonna sell condos downtown or whatever it may be. You're pivoting because you're in a startup and you're trying to reinvent the wheel and tapping out every three months on a different pivot. This is a terrible way to run a business. Okay, the business that you wanna run is one where you don't reinvent the wheel. Okay, you build a service business in a proven market where you can get seven figures selling high ticket services either by yourself or with maybe half an employee or two employees at the most. Even scaling up to you know a type of business where you've got like 10 employees is a real pain. Um, and is not, is, it becomes much less of a lifestyle business. If you, by lifestyle business, I mean a business that you're in solely to provide for your lifestyle, like my business, where I'm here on a Thursday, you know, on the patio, having a glass of wine at 2 p.m. doing this video for you, because it is a lifestyle business that allows me to live the kind of life that I want. Um, no coincidence, it is called revolutionary lifestyle design. I don't want an empire, I don't want a 100 person office, I don't want those headaches at all. Um, all I want is seven figures a year, tax optimized. Okay, and that's where I'd be aiming for you in a service business, in a proven market, selling high ticket services, by being the best, learning sales, learning marketing, um, mastering a marketable skill in an in-demand market, and running a real business from day one where you never fail, where you never have to go start another business, where the clients you have 10 years from now, you got this year, um, where you're able to compound and reinvest in that fucking business, okay? Not doing this lean startup bullshit, tech incubator bullshit, fantasy businessman bullshit. It's not gonna fucking work unless you're really exceptional and you have access to VCs and you know possibly debt and all these things. Um, maybe your parents have some connections or you know if you trace back the founders of Facebook, Microsoft, they have there's five or seven factors that the vast, vast, vast majority of people don't have. Okay, so leave that shit to guys in Silicon Valley. Um, lean startup is fucking useless for and counterproductive 
for running a real business where you need revenue from the first fucking day. Okay, you're not Netflix, you're not gonna be able to run at a loss for 10 years because you've got billion dollar backers. You need revenue from day one. You don't wanna waste three years of your life building a business and failing. It's not feedback, it's failure. Plus your savings, plus you have to go back to get a job and then try and start another business on the side. Do not do that. Be in it to win it from day one. Start a profitable business from day one. Start a business in a service business from day one. And if you're already in a service business, keep building that up to seven figures um, and, and keep you know raising the prices and making sure that you're selling high ticket services and mastering sales and marketing. And that's it. I'll let your boy for, for comments. Um, anything like that, check out my site, revolutionarylifestyledesign.com forward slash products. If you want help scaling up in your sales and your marketing, making more money, like creating more of an abundant lifestyle, revolutionarylifestyledesign.com forward slash coaching. Holler at your boy and perhaps I can help you um, level up your lifestyle. Much love to you.